Okay, main event time. Let's do this. This is a fucking wild fight. Dude, it is. Uh, in the lightweight division, a very consequential bout between Rafael Ataman Fiziev and Masios Gamer Gamrock. Fiziev is 30 years old and fighting out of Kazakhstan. He is 12-2 and two as a pro with nine finishes, eight of them knockouts. Looking to get back at the win column after suffering only his second loss, a majority decision against Justin Gaethje. He'll be standing across from the very talented Polish fighter, Mateusz Gamrot, 22-2 and with one no contest, seven knockouts, five submissions, coming off of a split decision victory over Jalen Turner back in March. So both of these men coming off of very close fights uh, that could have gone either way. Mark, start us off. Give us the odds, the take, the pick. Who do you guys think is favored? Fazeev? I, honestly, man, I, I would think it would be Fazeev. It is. He is minus okay. 160. Gamrot is plus 130. Um, See, so that's pretty... that's the line for Bryce Mitchell right there. That's what it should have been. <laughs> That that line for this fight is pretty much what I was imagining. Um, yeah. Okay, two inches of height for Gamrot, but one inch of reach for Fazeev. Uh This is a great main event. Really interesting matchup between two talented fighters. Obviously different styles, which makes it fun. Uh, but personally, I just feel so much more comfortable with Fazeev here. Um, his recent performances have just impressed me so much more than Gamrot's have. I, I still don't think Gamrot beat Sarukin. He got somewhat handled by Benil Daryush. And then, yes, he did beat Jalen Turner, but it wasn't easy. He had to eat some shots in that fight to do it. Whereas on the flip side, Fazeev K- KO'd Moicano. He KO'd Riddell. He KO'd RDA and stuffed a bajillion takedowns in that fight. And then you could even argue he beat Justin Gaethje in, in a war. So, to me, he he has just been so much more impressive in his recent string of fights. And I know styles make fights and that if Gamrot can get Fazeev to the ground, everything changes, but I, I trust Fazeev's takedown defense at this point, man. What he showed against RDA was, was really impressive. Um, I'm not saying it'll never hit the mat, but he, he, even if it does, he showed how hard it is to hold him down. So I don't know as good and as tricky as Gamrot's wrestling is, I think the advantage that Fazeev has in the striking is just so much more of a factor than what Gamrot has in that department. And I think plenty of this fight will take place on the feet and that Mateusz Gamrot is going to be eating some shots while it's there. And because this is five rounds, I'm actually going to go as far as saying that we see the first time Gamrot ever gets finished in his career. He's a bit reckless on the feet. We saw how much Turner landed on him. He's not the first guy to land on Gamrot like that. It's honestly a little surprising he's ever been finished. I mean, it's because he's very good. He's only got, what does he have, like two losses. Um, but he's a little reckless, and he's a little bit there to be hit, and Fazeev's a freaking sniper. So I'm going to say he finds it. I will take Rafael Fazeev by round four TKO. Whew. Omar? Believe it or not, we have the exact same pick. Uh, I am also going with Rafael Fazeev by fourth round knockout. Uh, I do think that the, the damage is going to accumulate over time. I trust Fazeev's hands and his legs more. You guys know I'm super biased when it comes to guys who are nasty at fucking Muay Thai. And Fazeev <laughs> is probably going to be that guy for me for yes. for a little while. Um, I, I love watching that man fight. I think his technique is on point. I think his flow is on point. Um, and I think as long as Gamrot stands with him, which Gamrot will do, um, you know, he'll definitely shoot for something at some point. But, but he's not necessarily afraid to strike. Um, even when maybe he should be, but he's not. And I think once he starts standing with Fazeev, Fazeev throws so much power on a consistent basis without getting tired that it's, it's, it's amazing to watch. And dude, honestly, man, that comes from the Muay Thai. That is a normal thing to happen in Muay Thai. Like dudes find whatever their 50% power is and they can throw their 50% power for a few rounds, right? Like you rarely see people go crazy, crazy ham in Muay Thai, unless they've really got somebody like fucked up somewhere. But for the most part, man, people are throwing with a good amount of force and a good amount of energy consistently throughout a fight where I feel like in MMA, especially with all the different techniques and all the different uh, level changes that go on, you'll see guys fade. You'll see guys, you know, throw a lot less power over time. 
generally with guys who fight Muay Thai or have trained Muay Thai for a long time, especially guys who've been in there professionally, you'll rarely see the power diminish huh. that much. Um but yeah, anyway, my point being that I just trust Fazeev over a long period of time, especially when it comes to the power. So I'm going to go again with Fazeev, fourth round KO. Well, remind me of the odds one more time, Mark. Minus 160 Fazeev, plus 130 Gamera. So pretty close. Yes. I love that. Yeah, I do think that this uh, has the makings of being another lightweight classic between two talented guys. Um and pretty opposed stylistically. Uh, in this case, I think that uh, Gamrot's going to keep rising in this case. I think that he's going to tough it out over Fazeev. And I think that he's going to weather the storm of Fazeev's uh, sort of barrage of strikes. And he's going to find a way to get this into a grappling match, uh, as he often does. And I think that his strengths are going to shine in this fight. So I'm going to take Mateusz Gamrat to hand Fazeev his second consecutive decision loss. And there that you have it. It would be huge. It would be huge. This is a big one Su- either way. Super random. Have either of you ever watched the show Vikings? No. I've heard of it. No. I know what it is, though, but I've never seen it. I have always, when I'm watching Fazeev, I have always had this weird feeling of like familiarity And I'm always like, why do I feel like I like know this guy more than I know this guy? And I realized today that he looks exactly like the main character of the show Vikings. And now, so I I know, I know exactly who you're talking about because I've I've seen the poster so many times and like 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 commercials and shit. So I know the one dude that you're actually talking about on that fucking show. They have like the same beard, same hair, everything. And I, does he have – does the dude in the Vikings, though, does he have a little ponytail coming out of his little <laughs> – At, yeah, at right. times. He had a lot of different okay. looks okay. in that show. Like, he changed okay. his shit all the time. But, yes. I yeah. see it. I see anyway. it. Oh, my God, I see it. Oh, you pulled How it up? Funny. Yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How funny. Holy shit. It's it's uncanny. <laughs> wow. Even like the right, eyes, boys. the whole deal. Yeah. All right, folks.